The federal rules of evidence require that material introduced as evidence generally be authenticated by witnesses who can attest that the material is actually what it's claimed to be. The 1993 case of United States v. Dawkins explores this requirement in the context of a felony weapons charge. George Dawkins was pulled over for speeding on a highway in Mississippi. When Dawkins handed over his Colorado license to police, they noticed the license had been suspended under a different name, Carl Smith. Dawkins was arrested, and a search of his car uncovered a pistol. Dawkins was charged in district court on multiple charges, including illegal possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. During the trial, the prosecution attempted to link Dawkins to Smith's Colorado felony using a fingerprint card that purportedly came from the Denver Police Department and included Smith's signature. At trial, multiple police officers testified that Dawkins's signature and fingerprints matched those on the card, and the card was admitted into evidence. The court ultimately convicted Dawkins, who appealed to the Fifth Circuit. Dawkins claimed that the prosecution failed to establish he was a convicted felon because the fingerprint card was erroneously admitted.